I'm so sorry for the delay on this video. This is a video about Symbiote Supreme, who I actually really, really enjoyed. I had it the whole time I was out of town in uh, New York Comic Con and played with him quite a bit, even at the thing. Really liked it. Um, sorry I slowed on the video though, because I was sick. Uh, so here we're gonna start off with just the regular things. I usually just show these because a lot of people are just interested in seeing them. Um, it's interesting that it tags it as a counter or a control champion. I uh, I actually thought he did quite a bit of damage when I was playing with him. I really liked it. You can see his crit rating base is pretty high. Um, and his block proficiency is pretty well to start with as well. Plus he just looks really cool, so that's exciting. Um, starting off with his synergies, uh, you start off with obviously Doctor Strange and Mordo. Um, I do think that Doctor Strange's um, buff, the one that he gets from it, is pretty good. As Doctor Strange is a champion I enjoy using anyway, I think that's pretty great. Um, Mordo gets additional uh, passive attack bonus when he's paired with Symbiote Supreme, which I think is pretty good because he can be pretty rough in AW uh, all by himself. And so if you, anytime I think you buff him up with the extra attack damage, that's pretty exciting. Um, I don't know. I, I think it's okay. The interesting thing is it's just, it's just a single... I don't know, the fancy synergy bonuses. We don't have any base synergies until you get to the very end, like the previous one. Uh, the next one is Ancient Hunger, which is Dormammu and Mephisto. Uh, so Symbiote Supreme gets his special effect, uh, two effects triggered through blocks. I actually should have played with that more. Um, I have both of those champions, so as you can see, uh, I should have probably played with that a little bit more to see uh, how exciting that was. Dormammu gets increased health regeneration, which obviously can be really helpful uh, with his regen buff. Uh, and Mephisto gets an additional chance to trigger aura of incineration on just basic attacks hit, so you don't have to wait for his specials. Um, I feel like that would be pretty helpful because a lot of um, the defense of when you, when you fight a Mephisto, you are like basically just trying to dance out of range similar to... Uh, the new guy and his range buff. So uh, I feel like it could be pretty strong. Um, I don't know. I probably should have played more with it so I could give you a better discussion about that. Uh, and then the last one is the Supreme Symbiotes. It's all of the Symbiotes, uh, all of them. So Symbiote gets, uh, a sta every time a stagger duration expires, he gets a 25 cent chance to reapply it because the stagger is such a strong part of Symbiote Supreme. I think that's great. You can only use it once, but I mean, you really don't need all of those champions right there. Uh, and then it increases duration of all bleed to EOS, which since all of the symbiote champions have a significant amount of bleed, I think that's actually probably uh, pretty useful um, for the champion. Uh, next thing we're going to do is read the bio. The result of an unholy union between an alternate reality Doctor Strange and a particular virulent Clintar specimen, the entity known as Symbiote Supreme reels in a natural power thanks to its mastery of symbiancy, the ability to summon and control its symbiote through magical means. Symbiote Supreme finds and bonds with any light form it can, devouring them into his hive mind in order to spread its dark influence across the battle realm. Uh, that's not a super surprising bio. If you, uh, if you did the story quest, it was, I feel like it was pretty clear in the story quest, so that's pretty exciting. Um, I was reading that, I was like, I don't know. Some of them I'm like, ah, I don't know who those people are. Oh, and the new, the new champion, like I feel like the bio on the new champion is gonna be really helpful because like, It'll be introduced to us in a story, but we haven't ever seen him before, so that's cool. All right, signature ability, Symbiomancy. Every 12 and a half seconds places a stagger passive on the opponent, lasting 10 seconds. Stagger immediately nullifies the next buff triggered on the opponent. That is the strongest part of this champion, so um, at least that's what I think. So I think this champion probably does need to be duped to be really helpful. He gains 100% less power from attacking and blocking and being struck, but gains additional power for every... Uh, every nine seconds so he auto gains power um, but doesn't gain it the way most of the rest of champions do so you just you could stand back if you needed to and just wait for your power every time a buff or stagger found on the opponent ends you get 25 genetic potential and gain additional 50 percent genetic 50 genetic potential if a buff ends due to a nullifier stagger event since all of his buffs depend on that that's really important um, and then genetic blessings, he can do three different ones. Seathon's Cunning, Null Shadow, and Set's Fang. It's similar to the regular student stra uh, Stephen Strange. They just go around uh, in circles. Each time it triggers, 100% is consumed and you have to start up again, but you get a bar of power. His passive for uh, Sithon's, whatever. 100% chance to, uh, to notify all the buffs on the opponent, which can be really big on some champs. Eight, uh, 709, which is because of uh, the fact that it's a level 99 of direct damage, is dealt to the opponent for each buff nullified based on what genetic potential you have. Uh, higher, better. While active, you gain a 5% chance to place a stagger passive on the opponent for 10 seconds. Critical, hit, uh, critical hits increase the chance to 50. I think it's actually the strongest part of the hood, too. I love that uh, stagger, so I think that's really useful for him. Null's Shadow is the second one. 100% chance uh, to gain protection buff, preventing him from taking more than 15% per uh, max health per hit, lasting for 10 seconds. Uh, as you know with some other champions, that's pretty helpful. Uh, a lot of armor and a 40% perfect chance to, uh, chance to perfect block. 
Uh, while active, you gain a 15% chance to place a stagger passive on the opponent. It's just like the other one. Well time blocks increase the chance to 100%. Uh, so as I think you're starting to see that the stagger and nullify is really one of the strongest parts of uh, Symbiote Supreme. Uh, sets Fangs, 100% chance when the blessing is triggered to gain a Fury buff, increasing the attack uh, by a lot for 10 seconds based on genetic potential. It causes a bleed debuff, which is a significant amount of his damage. Uh, it's a very high bleed debuff. And each hit of special attack gains a 50% chance to place a stagger passive on the opponent, which lasts 10 seconds. Uh, so that would be his uh, his damage one. And so it's similar to Steven Strange, you're literally just going to keep cycling through them. You do have a little more uh, control over that because you could use genetic potential to manipulate it a little bit, but uh, it's still going to be a very like cyclical champion, similar to regular Steven Strange. Special attacks, grasping tendrils. A portal opens in an unknowable dungeon, allowing tendrils from beyond to strike. This is what it looks like. Um, I should have recorded these with different buffs, but you know. Anyways, 100% chance to nullify, gain 50% genetic potential if a buff is nullified, and then you switch. Dark Triumvirate, with Sathon's cunning is active, it's 100% chance to feel to steal uh, power. When null sh shadow is active, 100% chance to place a weakness debuff and reduce their attack. In Sets Fangs, 100% chance to place an armor break debuff and reduce their armor by 2000, or however much you have, uh, your, whatever your sick level is. Interesting, I didn't check this out different ones, but... Dimensional Hunger, the last one, 100% chance to reset the genetic blessing timer and activate all three genetic blessings at once, so... <laughs> and you also gain 100% genetic potential. I consider it, I don't know, it's, it's really just 0 to 100, but I, I always think of it as 100. Like, as a percentile, I guess. It looks cool, too. But he, like, kicks out the damage after you do his L3, like... Because he has all the buffs on him, he just, like, beats the crap out of him. Uh, okay. So from here, I'm going to talk about, uh, I really enjoyed the champion. I thought he was really strong. Um, I, I fought him a lot uh, while I was, you know, hanging out in lines and like waiting around. So um, there's a couple champions that he specifically uh, was de designed to counter. And those are some of the newer champions that we're having trouble with. Uh, Corvus Glaive, um, his nullify helps a lot with all of the buffs that Corvus Glaive has. And then the other one is Medusa. So her like big deal is her auto block. And since um, it's it's associated with her furry bu fury, furry buffs, I just made her into a furry champion. Fury buffs, um, if you can stagger and nullify those off really quickly, then she really becomes a lot easier to handle. And plus you get the, the class bonus with both of them because he is a mystic. Um, he's not good against Omega Red, uh, mainly because he doesn't have any buffs to take care of. Um, he's not good against Ultron because you can't bleed him. Um, so you're going to have just basic basic hit damage and Ultron is... At least he's got like a, he's an easy pattern to do. So if you got stuck in a situation, you could, uh, but you're not going to get any additional benefit out of using Steven uh, your source of Supreme over something else. Um, and then another one we uh, talked about as a creator group was Wasp. Um, I don't know. It's just because she's cyclical, and so uh, Sorcerer Supreme is also cyclical. Uh, it would just be like a lot of fuss to get anything out of him. It's not your best option for him. Um, overall, I felt like he does a lot more damage than Stephen Strange. He counterspell is a little bit, um, what's the word? I feel like counterspell, you're kind of hoping for RNG to work. Uh, with Sorcerer Supreme, you have more control over uh, debuffs on other champions, like, or I'm sorry, debuffing them. <laughs> uh, so I actually really liked him. I think, um, although I don't generally take a lot of time out to get brand new champions, just because I'm still working on building up a five-star core of older champions, I actually think this is one I would be really interested in getting. So I really liked him. Um, if you have any comments or any questions or any thoughts, please leave me a comment, and I promise I do read them. Thank you. Bye-bye.